hello my awesome scorpios i missed you guys scorpio i hope you're doing wonderful scorpio you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate first we're gonna ask what's coming up for you scorpio what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey second part of this video we're gonna ask about your soulmate whoever it is you thinking of concentrating on while watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally what's on their mind what they thinking feeling at this time especially in relation to you scorpio universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of scorpio for Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life. And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Scorpio in their life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Scorpio, what's showing up for you? That's important. This is beautiful. The best card in the whole deck, the sun in position one. Ooh somebody wants to come towards you with a solid offer they don't want you to not be in a relationship they don't want you to be single available yeah somebody wants to make you theirs they don't want you to be single they don't want you to be uh grabbed by somebody else yes somebody's coming with an offer mm -hmm. they slow to action slow to action interesting whatever it is you're concentrating on at your job or business you're gonna be successful universe please show us what's coming up for scorpio in their life and how is scorpio currently doing on their summit journey wow you have good karma scorpio this is you be very careful what you wish for what you think of because what you think of the most is what you're going to attract manifest in your life yeah keep positive mindset yeah you see wow somebody is uh, very very connected to you uh wants to come towards you yeah somebody that you released you released that somebody because there was betrayal in a relationship you see yeah you released someone Whatever it is you're concentrating on at your job or business, it shows that you have some betrayal as well, that people uh, are hiding something from you, but you're going to be successful. Yeah, you're going to figure out what's going on. I can't stand this energy, but I have to keep it. Otherwise, the readings wouldn't be um, correct, complete. Betrayal is something I have a hard time dealing with in life. Yeah. I would rather have someone come up to me and just tell it like it is, even though they know it may hurt me uh, to hear the truth. I, I can't stand. I don't tolerate betrayal. People who are dishonest, deceitful, that's a no-no in my life. Yeah, you can't trust someone, then what's the point, right? Um, this is you, quiet, silent. You've been betrayed by a lot of people in your life. <clears throat> this is you, very careful who you trust. You are very discerning. You see very clearly who your enemies are, who your friends are, who is authentic in your life, who is not. Mm -hmm. You and your soulmate are silent, quiet, not communicating right now. You are very intuitive, very psychic. Yeah, you are. Listen to your great intuition. There's something brewing for you that's positive, that you're not supposed to know in advance, you see. This is you uh, getting rewarded for your good karma, good deeds. Yeah, good deeds in life, you see? Um, blessings coming to you full circle, you see? Blessings that you've earned through good karma. Mm -hmm. Wow, what's going on here? So somebody is coming towards you. You have a new person interested in you as well. Somebody that wants to spend time with you, go out with you. Wow. Your person from the past wants to rekindle 
uh, some kind of connection with you and wants to communicate with you, but they're scared of your reaction, scared that you will reject them or will say no to them. Hmm. This is you, your success. Whatever it is you're thinking of, have passion for, you're going to be successful. Yeah, you see, I just looked on the bottom of the deck. So the soulmate that wants to come towards you with communication um, has not been in your life uh, that much. It's like it was off and on connection, off and on connection with a lot of uh, disagreements. Universe, please show us. Yeah, Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey. Yeah, you are very good at your job or business. You are a pro at what you do. This is you getting recognition for your good deeds and for diligent work. Yeah, this is you bringing that money and profit in. Some of you are working for some kind of big company. You're going to have an opportunity to travel. Something to do with work or business. Somebody, new person, a new soulmate is interested in you in a romantic way, but they're not just thinking about dating and having fun. They're thinking about long-term possibilities like marriage. This, um, traditionally speaking, talks of marriage, living together, commitment. Yeah, so you have one that wants to communicate with you after being absent from your life. And one that is interested in you, that's a new soulmate, that's serious about you, yeah. You must please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Scorpio. And how is the soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Scorpio? And how is the soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time? Hmm. No, it's this one over here trying to hide from me. Let's see. So the soulmate that wants to communicate with you. Yeah, you see? Very interested in you, viewing you as very different from others. You stand out in a crowd of many. Yeah, you see? So you have more than one person interested in a relationship with you. Lovers is showing up here. Yeah, you have some toxic people around you, some jealousy around you. Yeah, you know who they are. Yeah, the relationship that you released was a serious relationship, whether you were married or planning to get married or engaged or live together. It was a serious relationship and you had to let go. Yeah, you had to release it. The soulmate that wants to communicate with you is missing you a lot. You see, now they see your worth, value. Now that you're not in their life, they realize what an awesome person you are. Universe, please show us. Three major arcana showing up here. Lovers, Hierophant, and the Sun. A lot of you are dealing with Leo, Gemini, and Taurus. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Scorpio. They want to take action. Yeah, this person wants to be back in your life. Yeah. They've been silent, quiet. Yeah, they're spying on you. So this is spycraft. They're keeping tabs on you, spying on you through videos like this. Social media, if you have any. This person wants to know what's going on in your life. But a new person is showing up again. New soulmate, yeah. The new soulmate is thinking of you as possible long-term relationship. They view you as the catch, you see? New person has deep passion for you, strong attraction, strong bonds. The sun again, how many times is the sun showing up? Three times already. You are manifesting new person by recognizing that you deserve much better than toxicity that you had in the past. Yeah. You are manifesting this new soulmate connection. Whether you trust them or let them in will be up to you. Uh, it will depend on your free will actions. Yeah. The soulmate that wants to return to you, they didn't offer you love. 
even though they love you. You see the cups are empty and it's on top of challenging energies over here. So they didn't offer you solid commitment, whether they were scared or couldn't for whatever reasons. This person is checking up on you. They're coming at you. So this person is unable to let you go. The person that wants to return to you for communication, they're unable to let you go. They're coming towards you with communication because they're not able to release you, not able to fully move on, and they want to break this silence. Yeah. Let me see what's going on here. Inverse, please show us. Yeah, you let them go. So you told them what time it is. You cut them out of your life. You were very honest, direct. You are really guarding your heart. You're very closed off emotionally towards that person that you let go of. Yeah. They feel enormous amount of guilt about losing you. This is them feeling guilt, regret. Yeah, I see. Here's betrayal for the second time. This person betrayed your trust in a major way, whether they were uh, unfaithful or had a third party or pulled you in as a third party or gave you cheap talk or empty promises, uh, betrayal. They aware that they betrayed your trust and you expressed that. Yeah, you see, now that you're gone, they realize your worth, value. They showed up several times already. Now that you're no longer there, be careful with your work or business because this shows another very important message. Uh, whatever it is that you work on, working on, uh, you are successful at it. And there are some people who don't want to see you succeed. You see, look at this. This is deceit, betrayal. People are jealous of your success. And if you don't view yourself as successful, they view you as successful, you see. But you're not going to fail, Scorpio. All you have to do is continue being proactive, passionate. Um, jealous people means you're doing something right, okay? Just continue doing what you've been doing. Keep being proactive and passionate. Uh, Scorpio, we're going to go into your extended reading. And we're going to ask about the two soulmates that showed up. First, the one that showed up as wanting to come back to you for communication, to clear things up, clear the air between you two. Um, we're going to ask about their true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time, what they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up the sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life that showed up as king of wands, new soulmate, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know. They'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.